So as a lot of you guys are aware, I love Tolkien's work, okay? I'm a big, big fan of the Lord of the Rings franchise. I have read almost all the books. I haven't read some of the new stuff, to be honest with you, just being transparent, but I read all the old stuff, including the Silmarillion. Uh, I do need to freshen up on the Silmarillion, though. Honestly, it is a lot to take in, and I'm not one of those guys that can just, like, name every single point in history and facts and all that stuff, but I can have a conversation for sure. I've had it on streams. I've had it in videos, and uh, it's a lot of fun, but why am am I talking about the Lord of the Rings? Well, apparently the Lord of the Rings video game, and that's the MMO. Okay. And that's, and the MMO has been one of the last bastions for a good Lord of the Rings content oriented like thing, right? In terms of entertainment, uh, it has been very faithful to the lore. It's been very faithful to the source material without a doubt. And it's been a, a great place for Tolkien nerds to just hang out and do their thing. But unfortunately, and this, this, it's really sad to report on because there was a point in time where I got back into the game and I had such a great time. And I was talking with so many people that watched my videos and we were just having a great time just being in, in the world of Lord of the Rings. Apparently, though, it's unfortunate for me to have to report that they have officially, without a doubt, gone woke. So Lord of the Rings Online character creator now officially adds facial hair as an option for women, not just dwarven women, all women, and says we want to make as many players feel represented in the game as possible. Yes, they have officially done it. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, what's the big deal? Well, they didn't just stop here. They added a bunch of stuff to this game in the latest update to be quote unquote inclusive. Now, this is going to be a death note, okay? I would almost guarantee that this is going to be a death note for the game. I've heard of so many people that are leaving this game, and here's the problem. This game already had a small community supporting it to begin with. Now you are going to alienate that small community in the hopes that you can garner a bunch of young kids to play Lord of the Rings online. Guaranteed they're not going to play it. Guaranteed you're going to get a lot of people leaving this game. Guaranteed you're going to lose whatever money you were making from it, and you're probably going to shut down at this point. It's just the truth. It's going to happen. It might take a year. It might take more than that. Who knows? But it will ultimately happen if they keep going down this route. There was no reason to add any of this stuff. Nobody playing Lord of the Rings online for the past XYZ amount of years said to themselves, I desperately need to rock a beard on my human female. Nobody said that to themselves. But again, this is out of touch developers who have decided to go woke in the hopes that it's going to garner a younger audience to come play their game that nobody's going to want to play after they do this shit. So let's get into the article, guys. But of course, before we do, consider giving me a like to help push us out into the YouTube algorithm. It says Standing Stone Games adds more diverse character creation options to the Lord of the Rings online, including women with beards. And once again, I know women who are dwarves should have beards, but it's not just dwarven women. It's all women who are having beards now, apparently. Why? Because wokeness, clearly. The update 35.1 release notes discuss the events and changes coming with the game's 16th anniversary and the new Witch King Citadel raid. Among these changes was a section detailing how the Lord of the Rings Online is celebrating the uniqueness of every player. Our latest update celebrates individuality with additional character customization options for the race of men, humans, that let players express themselves in new ways. Developer Standing Stone Games boasts, we want to make as many players feel represented in the game as possible, and we are introducing new character creation options for your face, hair, and body. Okay, here's my problem with this, all right? I know it's a fantasy game. All good. All good. It's a fantasy game. All good. The problem is that this is a fantasy game based in Tolkien's lore, right? So this fantasy has certain rule sets applied to it already. Facial hair on women is not one of them. Trans people is not one of them. You can try to want to be inclusive to all the real world identities and all this other bullshit that you want to try to pander to, but that completely takes people out of the reality when they're playing the game, or I should say the fictionality when they're playing the game. When you go into a Lord of the Rings game, you expect certain things, right? If you see a woman with a beard, you expect that woman to probably be a dwarf. Unfortunately, now because of real world identity politics that are spilling into the video game, now you're going to be forced to see women with beards in the game who are humans. And then now you're going to look at them, you're going to mock them, you're going to laugh at them. And most of the characters that are going to be made who are female with beards are going to be people mocking trans people. Literally, that's what's going to happen. It's not going to people who it's not going to be people who are seriously trying to see themselves in this game. Nobody is seriously going to try to see themselves in this game by playing 
playing a female with a beard. It's just not going to happen. You did this for virtue signaling points. It says, we know there is more work to do to offer a wider variety of character creation options, and we'll be following up this release with additional options in the future. The blog post goes on to explain existing characters will remain mostly unchanged, bar updated textures, but there are now more shared options between genders, including hair and beard styles where applicable. In addition, body proportion range has been increased, and the new options can be selected via the barber for existing characters. It says YouTuber Arby the Weird One uh, discussed the changes to character creation, noting the characters looked better and lighting had improved. Players can now choose their facial hair and stubble for even female characters. Men have one additional facial hair option than women. The character customizer allows players to adjust their character's girth via the body sliders, um, body type slider and introduces more hairstyles for both men and women. Players can also mold the shape of their character's head and face via sliders for the crown, nose, jaw, ears, lips, cheeks, and more. Some of those who had showcased a new character customization on YouTube, such as Ponton, Finberry, Louis7, and Gingin, saw a large number of dislikes on their videos. For those who utilize plugins to view dislikes, despite them not being the game developer, there may be a bias as those displeased over the changes may have gone looking for videos showcasing it with no video from official channel. So here we have another uh, kind of like a picture from this person's, I guess, uh, video. And here you have a woman with a five o'clock shadow. This is basically a black Dylan Mulvaney. And you're going to have this now. And unfortunately, it looks like the last bastion that Tolkien nerds had to really enjoy a true to Tolkienist style world, unfortunately, is now going to go out the water. This is not going to be the end. They're going to start with this and people are going to say, oh, what's the big deal? It's just facial hair. They're going to start with that, and when you take when you give an inch, they're going to take a mile, guaranteed. You're going to give them an inch, and they're going to take a mile, and this is how we are in this predicament, uh, predicament to begin with. So it says, YouTuber and comic creator John Del Arroz discussed the update, lamenting yet more of Tolkien's lore being bastardized since his estate was sold out from under his family's care. Noting that Middle Earth was an allegory for ancient Britain, he felt attempts at woke diversity clashed with a world that was more homogenized. Ironically, he proposed this resulted it being being homogenized in another way. It's always about the represented. Everything has to be represented all the time. To the point, nothing is represented because, of course, you turn everything into gobbledygook because everything looks exactly the same at that point, Del Arroz lamented. The idea of being fat and having epic adventures unimpeded was one of the changes. Del Arroz also noted that the image of the 16th celebrations with an abnormally diverse cast of characters from Middle Earth was ridiculous. It's so sad. They have to do this and everything will ruin except everybody's experience by making everything exactly the same. So sad about this, he concluded. So again, guys, if you are a true Lord of the Rings fan and you are a true Tolkien head and you were enjoying this game because it was one of your last ways to enjoy Tolkien's work um, unbastardized, well, guess what? Now it has definitely been bastardized and they have sold out. That's plain and simple. They have sold out. Lord of the Rings Online has sold out. I guarantee they took a lot of money in donations to be able to do something like this. Who it's from, I have no idea, but they definitely are getting money to do this, and they are trying to do this to also, in the hopes of garnering a younger audience, but it's not going to happen. Younger audiences are not trying to play Lord of the Rings Online. Sure, there are some younger people playing it, but those people have a true love for Tolkien, and the last thing they wanted to see was a human female rocking a fucking beard in the hopes of pandering and getting virtue signaling points on Twitter. So unfortunately, we're going to have to classify a Lord of the Rings Online as the latest woke flop that is going to come and uh, I guarantee it's going to be shut down within the next couple of years and I'll be here well hopefully anyway when they decide to ultimately shut down because they decided to play this game so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you did enjoy and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe I would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like this video comment let me know what you thought and I'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out